Hello everyone, it's Nick Lawson with CDC Take Charge Software and this is lesson two on writing X basic code in Alpha Software. As I mentioned in the previous lesson, we will be discussing how to modify the README button on the original It's For You message program. So here, if we uh, bring it up in design mode, it's the sign in form, and we right click on README, go to events, and then on push, you'll see a action script that was created for that button. Now, in this particular case, it doesn't really tell you what it did. It's a single action. Um, so you say, well, how did they do that? Well, basically they follow the steps. Now you can look at each step that they went through by editing the action. If you click on edit, it brings you to the first screen which allows you to set the type of buttons that you want. Then the next screen where you can change the image that's displayed or tell it no image. Um, you take and put in a title for your application and then you set your text. Now you can also change that so that it's an HTML message box if you want to. And we're not going to do that, we're going to leave it the way it was. And then you can preview the, the message box. Now notice when I preview it, it kind of like makes a, a dingy noise in the background. That's because a UE message box has a audible tone attached to it that you can't get rid of. To me it's annoying, so I try to avoid using it if at all possible. And we will be able to avoid it by writing it using straight X basic code and an X dialog box. So if I go to next here, just so that you can see, then you take and you set your display name or your dialog name, uh, tell it what to do on the button, and then finally uh, it's done. And you can put comments on it as to what it's supposed to do, and they show up in the status bar at the bottom. That's it. Um, now, let's look at what all that actually did in XBasic code. So we convert it to XBasic, gives us a warning telling us that once you convert it, you cannot switch it back. Well, that's not true. If you convert it, and then you want to switch it back, just don't save it, and it'll automatically go back to the action script. All right, so here it is in XBasic. Uh, it is a UE message box that they're using. They take and set two variables. The read message result is in, and the shared uh, read message OK button as logical. Then they set the logical button to false so that the X, the message box will display. They set the variable or the, the title. Then they take and set the text. And then they call the message box and it displays on a screen and does what you want it to do. Now, all that's fine and okay. Um, but let's look at how we can make it look using our own method. So here's the new It's For You message sign-in screen that I created. And let's look at the README code for that. So I'll come over here to our code page, and we'll start. Now you'll see here I converted their button. It's exactly as the code that's on the original button. But I don't want to use a UE message box because I don't want the ding. So what can I do? Let's make it into an X dialog box. Now, when I have this here and I run it, Here's my message box. Different color background. It's pale blue and uh, gradiated to a white. I do have an icon in the corner. My message is broken down into paragraphs. I have a line dividing my button from my message area. And it's all spaced nice and neat and looks real attractive. Pretty cool. And I didn't have that annoying day. So, what do we do to make that happen? Well, we went down here and we have two buttons called out, but I just got rid of one of them. I just came down to the button section and made the OK button 80 characters wide. I set the text to 75 wide and 15 lines deep. Then I wrote my variable text and put it in here. And in order to make the paragraphs, you have to take and do a control line feed. And let's see if I can get you the one that you can see. And on that line feed, we set it to two spaces so that it looks like a paragraph break. Otherwise, it would just look like a break in the text line. Okay, <clears throat> now to do that, of course, you have to end your, your text string, 
put in your control line key, which is a function, um, and then start a new text string to continue on with your text. You have to do that for each break in your text. Now, you might be saying to yourself, say, well, that's well and good. You know how to do it, but how do I do it? I don't have to take and know how to do this. I can use the script genie to basically do what the XBasic does without going through, I mean, what the action script does without going through the action script. And it allows me to take and better control the design of my end product. So I select uh, Script Genie from my code option on the menu. Then I select Dialog Box on the left. And here I want to display a dialog box. Click OK. Now I have to give it a variable name, so we call it X. All right. And I come down here, and one of my options is static text. I define my text. Now, I can go ahead and just type stuff in, or I can copy and paste that whole line. I think I got a misspelled word there. I do. My text enters to the next character. There you go. Now, I want to put an icon next to it. So, I come down here. And I select my little pop-up on a Windows image, and we want an X. So we'll put that in there. All right. Now uh, I can preview my box if I want. There it is. Hello, this is static text. I have an OK cancel. So <clears throat> on my next tab, I go ahead and I set the title for my dialog message. All right, and a header and footer if I want. I don't want that. Um, I can just take and eliminate the cancel button. All right, I can customize the background, and I can tell it that I want it to be gradiated. All right, 3D and white. I can preview it to see how it's going to look. It's just a very soft tone. And say OK. And next. Then that comes up. You can modify those if you want to. We really don't need to have a shared variable because we're not passing any values. And then we're finished. Now here, once it's done, I can go through and make the changes to make it look like I made it look over here. And then I just copy it to the clipboard. Come down here. And when I'm ready to paste it in, just control paste. And there it is. And I don't want it in there because I already have one. But that's how simple it is to do it using a script gene. So then you can take and have the code look any way you want and it's much more versatile uh, and it runs fast and your application is much more professional than using the action script. So that's it for today. One more time let's take a look at our message box. Isn't that attractive? Alright I hope you all have a great day and on our next lesson we'll look at the sign in button on the sign up form. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.